Similarity ratios. Through this lesson, you will learn how to create a ratio of two similar figures. Let's start with these two triangles. We have triangle CDE similar to triangle XYZ. So now let's talk about corresponding angles, corresponding parts. In this case, angle C corresponds to X. So let's take a look at that in the shape. Angle C, notice, has two arcs corresponds to x, which also has two arcs, meaning they have the same angle measurement. Angle D corresponds to angle Y. Angle D has three arcs, corresponds to angle Y, which has three arcs. And lastly, angle E corresponds to angle Z. Angle E has one arc, angle Z has one arc. Therefore, they have the same angle measurement. So some of these problems may appear tricky at times because the shapes are turned around and it might be a little tricky at times to quickly tell which are the corresponding angles. But a fast way of figuring this out is simply look at this as a guide. Angle, the first letter here, which is angle C, would correspond to the first letter here, which is angle X and so forth. Now, let's go ahead and take this smaller side of the triangle that's on the left-hand side, which is four. And we're going to use that value to start off our ratio as a fraction. So when we create our, our ratios in this topic, we must use fractions. We take the value 4, and it corresponds to this side, which is the smaller side of the smaller triangle, 1. So we are creating the ratio 4 over 1. And now we have to reduce. Is there a number we can divide them both by? You can think of it that way. Though that's how you would actually want to think about it if the number on the bottom were a larger number. In this case, start by trying to divide. Can we divide 4 by 1? Yes, we can. That simplifies to just 4. That would be our simplest answer in this case. So as a whole value, 4 is our ratio. Now, let's go ahead and go on to the shape here. Here we have... STUV is similar to IHKJ. I'm going to take the length of this rectangle down here on the left hand side, which that value is 2. So let's go ahead and write that value 2. And we are corresponding that or creating a ratio with its length on the other triangle or rectangle here. So here we have the value of 6 as a length. We're comparing length to length. So 2 compares to 6. If we reduce this, we can divide both values by 2, which leave us with 1 to 3, 1 over 3. Therefore, our simplified ratio is 1 to 3. Now, some of you may have already noticed, um, and you may have been thinking, why didn't I just choose 1 here and 3 here? Yes, that would have been a more simple way to get to the simplified answer. Because there was already 1, that's the best side to choose. But there will be problems where you don't have the option of using a one, so you will need to use this method of reducing. Okay, let's go ahead and submit and we'll fast forward onto problems that will come up later. So what you'll notice here is the numbers just tend to get bigger as we move through this topic. So at this point, if you need to come back to this video, you can come back to it. Uh, if you happen to get stuck on the topic, otherwise continue watching for further examples. What is the similar, similarity ratio of these two triangles? So I'm going to take the side that is between the one arc and the two arcs, which is 30. And I'm going to now set that 30 over where the one and two arcs, one to two arcs would be 10. Another way, again, to think about this would be, I'm looking at letters E, G. So E, G are the first and the last. E, G corresponds to C, B, because those are the first and the last. That's why I have to take the number that's next to C, B. And now with this one, we can think about dividing both numbers, or in this case, we can actually just divide the top by the bottom, numerator by denominator. 30 divided by 10 is simply 3. We're not going to write this as a fraction for the sake of how this topic 
asking us, but most of the time in the problems you're going to see throughout this unit, you actually have to keep both values. Even when there's a one, you want to make sure you keep both values. So again, as you skip forward through the topic, you'll notice the values just seem to change. The actual process does not change. So if you have further questions, be sure to email me.